graduating in 95. The starting lineups for his team include the outstanding player of the year in the Sun Belt, Courtney Lee, Brazelton, Rogers, Magley, and Evans, the rest of his starting five. And for Drake, the darlings of this tournament, Young, Emmenecker, Houston, Corps. Tim, Drake a little bit more controlling of the tempo to play a wide open style in the half court. Courtney Lee takes it right to the rack, and Evans there to follow it home. This is Lee, a young man that uh, out of Indianapolis has really come on strong, and there's that runner that he can always hit. He's got success in the NCAA tournament, that being the Missouri Valley, while the Sun Belt has struggled some. Nice runner. So two teams out of the Sun Belt in this year's tournament. Great passing to Magley. Beautifully done by Courtney Lee. Mendez Valdez, not this time. There's Magley on the offensive glass, rolling. You can, you can see that athletic approach that Western Kentucky has, Mike, um, makes a difference on the offensive boards. Why? Well, and he's the wide body that Drake really doesn't have a matchup for. Corver, and if that shot looks familiar, it should. Brother Kyle was outstanding at Creighton, and that defensive play by Corver leads. I mean, there are seven coaches in the tournament who are doing that this year. But certainly a lot of pressure. Leonard Houston goes to the other wing and gives Drake it. There's Rogers. That, that ball was tipped. It was deflected. Houston goes the other way. Rogers has it taken away by Houston. Into Central Florida. Let's go Drake as Emin Ecker leads his team. That's a textbook play, isn't it? Absolutely textbook. The way he creates that opening for the three ball, Jonathan Cox. He reminds me so much of, of Steve Nash, and that's a lot to put on a guy, but he controls the offense for Drake. Magley in traffic uses the glass. Already 14 fouls against the Hilltoppers, only one for Drake. Houston, he's relentless. This time it's an offensive foul. And Michael Hall now trying to check Brazelton. He gives it up. Slaughter just into the game, gives it up to Valdez. Brazelton from downtown. Oh, that's a nice three. Really dominates the basketball for the Hilltoppers. A 41% three-point shooter, so you have to honor that. Corver on the wing. It's amazing how much he looks like his brother, isn't it? Uh, if you watch film of him and he didn't have a number on, you know exactly <laughs> who it is. Brazelton with an answer. Three ball after three ball. I don't think the setting the pick. Corver trying to get away. Emin Ecker challenged by Lee, who comes over with a rejection. Lee, Mendez Valdez, Pettigrew is back into the game, and there's the dish to Evans. Those are the five on the floor. Jeremy Evans, another one of those athletes. Innovative offensive style that he decided to use because of the talent he had. Evans with a putback, and that's been one of Western Kentucky's strengths. Length of the floor, what a pass! Into the hands of Young. That sequence, Mike, emblematic of the style of play we're going to see. I think maybe 4.5 seconds went off the clock between baskets. Courtney Lee with another one of those. Low. Josh Parker in for him. There's another pick. One of those quick hands of Leonard Houston. We've seen it a couple of times. You know, as Keno was telling us yesterday, he said, I've, I've got to coach the guys that I have right now, and they are not suited to that system. Evans inside. He has been uh, very effective down low. But that's, I mean, that's that's great coaching. Lee from way downtown. Count it. Now, you cannot doubt their productivity. No doubt about that. Slaughter from downtown. He hits a three. Young. Corver tries to keep it alive. And there's Jonathan Cox with the putback. The game, and Drake is really getting to the offensive glass. Rogers feeds Lee, uses the glass. Boy, that runner. And he knows how to use the window as well. He talked about it a huge. They are a plus 10. The Hilltoppers have not attempted a free throw in this game. And Slaughter gets a little overly aggressive. To Mendez Valdez. Feeds Ty Rogers, who gets it to fall. Pretty the rebound cleared, gets it back to Brazelton for three. Wow. He and Slaughter read one another beautifully. For Kentucky out of the game right now. A three ball by Baron Brook. Drake had missed its last nine trays, and he ended the drought. And Mendez Valdez says, I'll see you and raise you from downtown. Runouts.
off of those long rebounds. That shot was from St. Pete Beach. Slaughter ripping up the nets. A.J. Slaughter. Brazelton gets the long rebound and doing it without their stars. There's the feed to Siakam. Keno Davis's club surrendering a huge run in the time. Rogers to inbound it. Brazelton's got it with the clock winding down at the buzzer. Oh, almost knocked it home. Would have been a fitting conclusion to a fantastic last five, and that brings a smile from ear to ear from young Darren Horn. Ecker feeds Houston on the wing for three. Cox has it rejected from the back. Lee got a hand on that. Brazelton linked at the floor. Houston got a piece of it. Cox gets the rebound. Brazelton lucky he didn't get a second offensive foul that time. This time it's Josh Young. The nylon song for the young man from Lawton, Oklahoma. And Red Hoomskirk. Hoomskirk back on the floor. For the Bulldogs. Lee on a blow by. Emmenecker got a piece of it. Evans with the follow and then the offensive foul. Mendez Valdez for three. He rattles it home. Well, they're 5 of 21 cents, so they've hit a cold spell. Emmenecker finds a wide open Corver. Boy, he was waiting on that one, wasn't he? Lee off the bounce. He is some good. Good recognition. On the wing, three-pointer does not fall for Cox. And they're off to the races again. Brazelton back to Lee. Missed the chippy, but there's the follow. Siakam, poor pass. Courtney Lee takes it away. Brazelton, yes, and a foul. Three plus one. Representative tournament champions. Slaughter rejected. Jonathan Cox, nice defensive play in the zone. Forver. St. Petersburg again. St. Petersburg is calling. I look at the speed of Brazelton get through that trap. Brazelton tries to answer, and he does. Missed to Rogers in Western Kentucky controls. Rogers pumps. Everything falling for the Hilltoppers. Timeout, Drake. 19 total points for Western Kentucky in this half. 15 of them have come on trades. And just like that, Drake finds themselves down by 16. Former out of the timeout, gets the well-designed three ball. Rogers. The shot clock winding down for Slaughter, who must initiate something and does. Second half have really uh, allowed Western Kentucky to go small, which has been a greater matchup for them. Emin Ecker trying to navigate. Cox there for the answer. So what a rare putback for Drake. A lot of time that uh, Cox to get on it right on the offensive glass. Lee. Not this time. Ball tapped out into the hands of Josh Young, who's playing with three. Gives it up to Corver. Houston, nice look and the rejection. Evans slapping it away. Third block of the game. In this game, as you mentioned, four for Evans, all told in the game. Rogers runs the curl, and Magley there to clean it up. Brooklyn had an advantage in that because the defensive guy not willing to go up and get a goaltending call. The three ball for Jonathan Cox at 6'8". He can really step out, over and back. And I, I understand why. Rogers gets a gift. Well, Kino Davis is absolutely right. That ball should have been an over. The free throw line, not one field goal for him today. There's Brazelton. Boy, a whirling dervish. That quickness. You have two very good point guards. Young. Cox. He puts it down with the tip. And Drake trying to step up the pace with pressure. The calling card all year. They could be right back in it. Houston. Corver the follow. 70. Hilltoppers bench. They've gotten a lot of contributions. Jonathan Cox, that's where he likes it. Every time. Brazelton, numbers. A solo, a kiss, count it, and a foul on 
Jonathan Cox. Morris Siakam. And that young man, Ty Rogers, he gives it up to Courtney Lee running the curl. That's a beautiful play out of the tie. That bench points stat means everything. Horber rattles it home, playing with four fouls, and it's a five-point game. Slaughter. That ball. Off the dribble himself, gives it up. That's Young, Josh Young, not there. And the rebound cleared. That, that there are a few more left in each team's arsenal. The two bigs for Western Kentucky have been on the bench. They've chosen to go smaller and match Drake's firepower. Emenecker creates, and there's a slam. Whoa, Leonard Houston. And now a turnover, the travel. Off the pressure of a made basket. Brazelton all the way to the rack. Houston has Young down there with him. Gives it up. Young would have counted had it fallen. Brazelton throws it away. Great pursuit by Cox after the play to make the steal. From way downtown, Young. Only the Young survive. It's a one-point game. Timeout. Hilltoppers. Brazelton initiate against Emin Ecker. Brazelton a leaner. Got it to go. Just an isolation play. Launched it from 35 feet. Emin Ecker gives it up to Cox. On the wing. He loves that. He loves that. That's his spot on the floor. We're tied at 88. Just got it in. That's Slaughter. Down on the baseline. That's a foul. Emin Ecker draws the charge from A.J. Slaughter. That's five on Slaughter. With you, Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year. Most impactful walk on this tournament scene in a long time. There he is. High off the window. Pulled down by Brazelton. Will play another session in Tampa. Tim under control. And when uh, when Drake wasn't making threes, they were getting to the free throw line. So from downtown that they can bring out uh, almost at any point. A lot like Belmont. Yep, in the game indeed. Last night. A leaner off the glass. By Remindful of that Belmont team that Rick Bird has. Now all of a sudden, five players in double figures for Drake. Brazelton, boy, has he been tough. Emenecker feeds Josh Young. He had one of those big ones in the comeback as well. I believe it's going to have to step up. Brazelton. Oh, he gets the shooter's touch. That has been incredible. They, of course, out of the Sun Belt, as is Western Kentucky. Young! Now has to give it up to Korver. Well defended by Lee. One more time, not, not this time. And Boris Siakam the rebound. Chance to tie or pull to within one for Western Kentucky. Lee or Brazelton? Why not Tyrone? Yes, sir. 33 for him. We're tied. Nine second, ten second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Emenecker still doesn't have a field goal, but has done everything else in this game. And uh, Horn cannot believe Siakam came out and fouled Leonard Houston. Great faithful waiting for this one to fall. Only one of the two, and again, ball tapped out. Brazelton's got it against Emenecker. Not there. Courtney Lee can't follow it. Siakam on the way up. A foul spotted. Elbows clinched here in Tampa. Drake had an opportunity in regulation. Now they'll get a chance in overtime. And Brazelton, Siakam and company. High pick coming from Jonathan Cox as Emenecker negotiates. Drives it right to the rack. A relentless move. Stays with it. Emenecker again. Cox a tip. Not there. Loose ball. And a foul. 5.7 rem. Who is Jonathan Cox? 27 and 16. 76% on the year at the line. Allow him to get the basketball. Western Kentucky, no timeouts. Make somebody else rush up and beat you. Oh, the iron kind. And that gives Keno Davis a one point lead, and he'll take the timeout. Let him receive the basketball. 
drazelton has got it. End to end, he'll come. Leaves it for Rogers for three for the win. Western Kentucky doesn't break. on the part of that young man. And the winner of our next matchup between Connecticut and San Diego will take on the upstart Hilltoppers of the Sun Belt Conference, winners of an NCAA tournament for the first time since 95, when representing this league, Darren Horn's club managed to knock off Michigan. 101 to 99, our final in overtime for Mike Jaminski. Tim Brando saying so long from Tampa. Now let's send you to Greg Gumbel in New York.